Hi, right, uh, not done a heating video for the past week or so, um, but just a bit of an update really uh, today. Uh, I finally decided the boiler we're going for, it's obviously the Worcester Bosch uh, group, and it's the 29CDI Green Star Classic. Um, yes, it is a uh, combi boiler, uh, obviously not suitable for larger properties, um, except in our case we have very little very little requirement for hot water we really only have the kitchen and bathroom uh, taps to worry about we have electric showers so our, as I say our hot water requirement is uh, perhaps not uh, what you would uh, see in a normal family home um, so that's the one we're going for uh, I was quite surprised to be able to go to the Worcester Bosch website and actually request uh, the installation guide which uh, I can read through uh, over the, the coming weeks and uh, also we've got the FW100 weather compensation controller which I think we'll go for and also we got the engineers service booklet which covers all of the faults, troubleshooting, uh, just frankly amazing to be able to get this sort of documentation and um, free of charge as well as you know I'm in the TV repair business and service information is uh, is pretty hard to get hold of generally and uh, is, is certainly not normally free uh, unless you're a member of my forum of course uh, but then they've paid a small yearly fee anyway <laughs> But you get the idea. So I was pretty impressed to be able to get uh, to get these. Um, the benefits to us of going for a combi boiler, uh, there's, there's a few. Firstly, we can get rid of the hot water tank, which is uh, on the upstairs level, and the header tank. Obviously, both of those would have been replaced with uh, more modern types if we'd gone for a heat only or system boiler. Um, but I think you know just a basic proper cylinder t uh, tank. Is, uh, is around 200 pounds and if you go for one of these unvented types they're you know very much more expensive than that so we're going to be saving on the cost of the of a new tank and new header tank so you know it's got to be 250 300 pounds of savings uh, there um, I think we're going to go for this FW100 it seems uh, suitable uh, we are in a very exposed location and this has a sensor that goes on, I think it's a north facing wall um, the exact positioning is all in the booklet and it just adjusts the output of the boiler uh, depending on the external temperature so I'm thinking that will very, very well may be ideal for our uh, situation um, so yeah that's the idea behind that um, I'm still not entirely convinced that we should be fitting this upstairs in the loft uh, or whether we should actually go for fitting it downstairs on the same side of the property. The, the right main reason I'm thinking this is because of the flu. It's going to be very much easier to have the flu run through an external wall rather than go through the uh, through the roof. Um, so we, you know, I'm thinking of getting it put downstairs in one of the spare rooms uh, for that uh, for that reason the the pipe work that's upstairs in the uh, in the roof space will still be easily accessible from the from the downstairs room there's no there's no big problems uh, there also the running the condensate pipe uh, has to be considered we can't run that uh, into an internal waste pipe it's not practical uh, in our situation so that will have to be uh, run outside and uh, again on the side of the house that it's in there is no uh, waste so we are going to have to fit one of these um, uh, condensate soakaways uh, it's just basically a soakaway tube with holes and it's surrounded with uh, limestone chippings that you can buy from wicks or, or pretty much anywhere. There are obviously requirements in the uh, angles and length of pipe and the uh, and the, the drop, vertical drop. Uh, you can also buy, I think they call it a condensate shore uh, bottle. It's an insulated bottle that actually, actually attaches to the central heating uh, 
return pipe and keeps the condensate warm uh, and stores more and then ejects uh, a larger quantity and that virtually minimizes the risk of uh, of any of any freezing in the condensate pipe uh, obviously we'll fit um, one of the uh, filters uh, to this as well um, and that's pretty much where we are at the moment the only mistake I made a week or so ago was um, measuring up for 15 mil copper for the central heating run and of course it actually has to be 22 mil uh, copper and uh, I think then you just tee off uh, 15 mil to go to the actual radiators so a bit of a mistake there um, we've got uh, an old lead pipe running into the house supplying the mains water uh, we recently had the um, uh, MDP is it yeah the blue pipe uh, installed that's all been laid and uh, left lying by the stopcock in the house and uh, a bit of it is sticking up near the water meter uh, unlike British Gas who uh, frankly have sucked uh, East Anglian Water have been fantastic I phoned them on the Monday they had somebody out to survey uh, the situation within two days and they will have the uh, new pipe connected to the meter within 10 days uh, and free of charge somewhat better than British gas I have to say that's just going to make sure that we or obviously we don't, we don't want to be drinking uh, lead there is lead content in the water it was tested a few years ago um, and it will also make sure we've got the maximum uh, possible water pressure for the boiler and uh, the rest of the uh, rest of the system so that's our first step uh, stage after that we'll be getting the uh, gas connected to the mains gas in the street uh, and a meter box fitted um, we talked about that in the other videos so that will be the next stage and uh, I'm just going to carry on planning uh, what's required pipework wise get all the routes uh, worked out around the house and have a good old read of, uh, of these manuals and make sure we're doing everything uh, possible uh, to comply with all the rules and regulations there's various um, BS standards that have to be followed so I'll probably have a read up on those as well uh, where then where the actual specifications aren't mentioned in the manuals and uh, yeah we'll go from there so yeah just a, a short update for you on where we are and uh, more will follow thanks a lot